are known as a consumer watchdog. And there is you know, a lot of excitement, but a lot of worry about consumers. It, uh, from your phone, you can have your home security system, your medical records, people know your location. What are you worried about when you think, what keeps you up at night when you think of this coming Internet of Things? What worries me is what worries consumers, which is number one, security, and number two, privacy. There's enormous promise, tremendous potential in what the Internet of Things can do, and we're only beginning to realize it. But there's also the vulnerability of consumers to people who purposefully mean to do them harm in a criminal sense, the hackers and others like them, and then the exploiters, in a good or bad sense, advertisers and marketers, and then there is simply the worry about privacy from the world in general that I think is on consumers' minds. So what do you do? What, what can Congress do? What can you do to try to safeguard the consumer? For me, the key is personal choice. People should have a right to decide themselves what's done with their information. Data about your habits at home, when you use your refrigerator, when you heat your house, and to what level, whether you have a smoke alarm, where you travel in your car, all of that information belongs to you. If you want to share it with the world, and you want people marketing to you after you have a baby, all kinds of children's clothes and so forth, if you want that stuff coming to you, fine. But that should be your choice. So I think consumers, I'm a consumer advocate, so I say consumers should have the maximum control over that information. They should, in a sense, be required to opt in, make a conscious choice that they want their data shared in some way. In the post-Snowden era, um, have what we've seen about the capability of the government to surveil, is that just a sideshow for what's coming about what they could do? Or? Well, here is the political or the public opinion aspect. Yesterday, the President of the United States said about metadata that he believes there ought to be an end to the kinds of collections we've seen. I think that view reflects a public worry about intrusiveness and invasiveness, generally taking private information and making it public. And it's not limited to the government. Remember, the Bill of Rights protects us against governmental intrusion. But when you're talking about big data, you're also talking about universities, corporations, all kinds of private entities that collect and can share or market, exchange, and sell. The big attention here is that people worry that Congress and Washington in general will um, regulate and, and have so many heavy worries about privacy and security, they're going to kill innovation. Um, how do you see this tension or this balance? I think that's a legitimate concern. I think we want whatever is done by the government at whatever level and whatever agency to avoid inhibiting innovation. Very serious concern. But remember, the government has been a source of great innovation, you know, over Where? the years. Where? Well, space technology. You know, uh, I'm not going to get into the debate of who invented the, the Internet, but, uh, you know, the government, through its funding, through its encouragement, has a stake in innovation. We do, I'm on the Armed Services Committee. There are innovations that are taken from the military sphere and vice versa. The use of fuel cells out in the field right now is an example of energy renewable innovation. So I think there has to be support for innovation. There are ways of doing it, simply giving consumers choices. I mean, why should consumers choosing what to do with personal information inhibit innovation? I am extremely concerned about the government collecting metadata. In fact, I've joined in a bill to restrict it. I'm very concerned about the less than robust protection through the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. I proposed a measure to strengthen it to change its composition and appointment method. I am extremely concerned that even with a different composition, the FISA court right now hears only the government side. It's a secret court making secret law, operating through secret rulings. It should be made more transparent, and there should be an adversarial process. 
that provides for a constitutional advocate protecting our rights and liberty, even when there is a need for secrecy, which eventually should yield to the rights and liberties and protect the rights and liberties. So I am very concerned about government collecting data through means that are far more sophisticated and technically advanced than anything done in the, pri in, in the private sector.